Whenever you're ready. setbacks here and there, but at the same time, as long as I believed in myself and kept working hard, I kept kept in selling and, and saw myself get to where I needed to be and ended up where I was, you know, ended up in double life having fun. You went to Green River Community yeah. College before yeah. being drafted by the Rays. Uh, what was it like to go to that school and then get drafted? For me, it was, it was a blessing in disguise because if I was to go straight out of high school to, you know, to the pros, I, I wouldn't have lasted too long. So for me to go to college for a year and kind of get that, uh, the experience, you you would say, it was a it was a blessing. Cause I you know got the the whole thing of hard work and, and just being ready to play and, and going and doing my best every day. Drafted when you were 20 years old, um, and after that you played in the Frontier League. Yeah. What was it like jumping from Double A to Frontier? It was amazing. You know, like once I got the Double A, kind of turned into a business. So I kind of got lost in the whole business side of baseball and, and uh, you know you can't do that. You got to keep playing with your kid and. Going back to Frontier League, having to uh, get a little bit more, you know, excitement and become a little kid again and it helped, literally helped my career. So, um, after the Frontier, you got signed, luckily, by the Kansas City Royals and they turned you into a prospect. Uh, and you made it all the way up to Triple H for the Royals and became one of the top prospects during spring training um, and all that. What was like uh, being in the Royals system? It was amazing, you know, especially to be where I was at at the time, which was literally working at the airport and deciding to come out of that and go back to play. And for them to give me the opportunity in order to play and, and, and you know, excel and, and be who I truly was meant to be, I greatly appreciate that. And able to excel and have fun and, and, and make it through. Uh, you also played for the Arizona Diamondbacks for a short period of time. Uh, what was that like going? Again, from team to team, from league to league, and now you're the Diamondbacks organization. It was, it was, that was, it was really fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. From going from Kansas City, where it's a little bit more strict, and you know, rules, pants up, no facial hair, no, you can have mustache, but nothing below the lip, to pants down, facial hair, you know, shorts, sandals, you know, t-shirt. It's, it's, it was a new. It's a new experience for me. I was, I was so stuck on being so professional and proper, and, and it actually kind of fit me to a T because I'm more of a, a laid back guy myself. Um, uh, I, I told you, uh, so you played for the Royals for a little, then you came here to Somerset. Um, you've played over a thousand career games uh, for a, m a bunch of organizations, yeah. a bunch of leagues. And right now you're in Somerset, what's it like to be here? It's amazing. Coming here and you know, experiencing this this whole side of once again the independent ball, this is this is a good league. You know, you got ex big leaguer triple A guys. This is isn't a pushover league. So for you to come here and act to produce, it's a huge thing. And uh, once again, like I said before, independent ball brought back my joy. So coming here with these guys and playing and having fun and not worrying about, you know, who got paid more money or this and that. It's it's more so you know, if you can play, you can play, you're playing. So, so that's definitely how I took it. And, you know, that brings out the best player in everybody. And you can play relaxed, have fun, be a kid, and just enjoy what you're doing. You have to love what you're doing in order to, you know, live your life. And this is my passion. I love doing it. Uh, what's the difference between playing independent ball and, as you said, Somebody like me who gets drafted in the fourth fourth round, I'm getting you know less advantages than somebody who gets drafted in the second or third or fourth round. So it's just, you know one of those situations where that's been the game for I don't know how long, and that's just how it is. Um, as I said, you're a top prospect in the Royals and um, uh, Tampa and Tampa Bay Rays organizations. 
Played with and made really good friends with Josh Hamilton. I mean, me and Josh are extremely close. And I played with him in Longoria. And I played with, who do I play with? Moustakis, Dyson, Hosmer. Came up with Lorenzo Kane. You know, you name it. I, I played with everybody at some point in time just because, like you said, rehab assignments and just getting an opportunity to go spring training and get to meet those guys. And each of those guys is a true blessing to me because it showed me exactly where I wanted to be, but also how they go about their business and help me get to, you know, get to where I'm at now. And truthfully, I, I really commend those guys for doing what they're doing and still staying positive throughout everything. It's, it's, it's huge to see that, and it helped me out a lot. All right, thank you. No problem.